Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our one and only personal break this evening and we hopping on into a hobby box of 2023 top Star Wars Chrome for Leland A from Indiana. So thank you so much Leland for letting me open up some Star Wars for you here on the channel. And I hope to find you some new awesome cards to add to your collection. Now I will say this product does seem very hit or miss, but we have been hitting a lot as of late with our boxes. We found the Young Leia Super Fractor. We found an amazing Grogu insert number to five red refractor. We've seen some nice autographs. It's actually been a lot of fun. So I'm excited to see what we're gonna be finding here in this box for Leland. Hope for several numbered parallels. The boxes seem to be averaging one numbered card and your autograph. We haven't seen a sketch yet, so that would be super cool. But we have had a few boxes that have had two to three numbered parallels inside. So hoping that we get extra lucky here on this Monday evening. But yeah, it's pretty exciting and I'm ready to go ahead and jump on into it. So let's just do so by snapping into the corner and let's get cracking. Star Wars Chrome, man. Would be really cool to find a Diego Luna autograph. I know that he does sign now for tops. Those cards have existed. They're out there. We haven't pulled one yet. That would be super cool. But I know Carrie Fisher still has autographs in this product. I remember seeing actually from Layton up near Orlando. Someone got a red Carrie Fisher number five. I'm like, man, it's within the same state. Why couldn't that be in one of our boxes? But hey, you never know, right? So yeah, really, really strong autograph checklist for this product. So I'm hoping we see some great cards here for Leland tonight. And alrighty, starting off with a monikers insert, 3PO. I haven't seen any of the blaster boxes in the wild. I know there's a retail release for this product that has like exclusive purple parallels. Boss Nass Refractor. I've seen, you know, people post online their purple refractors, but I want to I want to see some in person. I haven't stumbled across any blasters though. Looks like we have another insert. We have our manga madness with Luke here. And then Journey of Grogu, the future site of Luke Skywalker's Jedi Temple. Cassian, base refractor. Another base refractor, we have Galen Urso, which we actually have found a Mads Mikkelsen auto out of this product. That was in our first case. I believe it was number 50, gold. It's one of my favorite autos that we've pulled out of this product. Hey, autofocus, there we go. Monikers, farm boy. You know, I don't actually think we've pulled this one before. I like it, Luke Skywalker, farm boy. We do have the 40th anniversary insert. We got C-3PO, the Return of the Jedi 40th, number three, and Young Leia. This is the Super Fractor base card we have found. So Young Princess Leia. Who does actually have autographs in this product? Vivian Lyra Blair is a new signer, I think, with this release. I think this was her first time, or her rookie auto, as a sports collectors would say. Clan of Two, Grogu insert. Sebulba Refractor. All right, we still haven't seen any numbered parallels just quite yet. We're almost halfway through. Cloud Refractor. Come on, give us some color, box. The Seeing Stone, Grogu. Insert. Mysterious Mandalorian of Tatooine. Grogu peeking around the corner. Ha, oh, I love Grogu so much. I love Grogu. Chat was putting me on the spot as we were opening up MCU Alert not too long ago, whether I like Baby Groot or Grogu better. And I was like, I hate you guys for asking these kinds of questions. Super tough. We have Darth Sidious. 
you know, in the moments, I think I ended up picking Baby Groot, but then, you know, and you're opening up Star Wars, and it's like, well, you know, Baby Yoda's got it going on, too. I think it just, my answer just depends on what I'm looking at. Like, I feel like right now, looking at these Journey of Grogu inserts, I'd pick Grogu, but there's some really cute Gro Groot cards in that set, too. Ah, man. I don't like picking favorites. That's something I've always been bad about. We have Tech Refractor. All right, box, I'm eyeing you down. Come on, you need to start giving us some color here for Leland, please. Please. Meeting the Mandalorian. Grogu just has like big anime eyes and they're adorable. I think this is an aqua. It In the pack, it's so refractory and shiny, it... It's hard to tell, but yeah, that is an Aqua coming up. Hey, Chewy. So Aqua Chewbacca Refractor, 43 of 199. And then there's the base refractor. In person, they're easier to tell, but on camera, I feel like they look almost the same because of just how shiny they are. And I promise you, it is a different color. Jenna, base refractor. All right, so first numbered parallel, we have Chewbacca. We have another refractor. We have blue, solid blue of Fennec Shen's. Nice. So two numbered parallels. Quinlan Voss refractor at the back. 38 of 150. All right. So we got some blues going on. So I mentioned at the start, we still have not seen a single sketch out of this product. Ben Kenobi monikers. Sketches are bonuses. That would be a sick bonus here. And we're still needing our autograph, of course. This Vader picture is super cool. I love that image choice from the Kenobi show. Babu Frick Refractor. Slaying the Mudhorn. Crosshair, Refractor. Manga Madness, Princess Leia. We do have Owen Lars, Refractor. And all right, two packs to go. All right, oh, you making us wait till our last pack for that auto, huh? All right, Dark Troopers arrive. Oh no, poor Grogu. Grogu, no. All right, final pack here for Leland, let's see. All right, so we do have something backwards here, should be our auto. Looks to me like a base. I don't think there's aqua autos. I think that's a regular refractor coloring. All righty. Let's, uh, let's play the hairline game. Let's see if we can figure out who it is. All right, so it's someone small. Oh, it's Dio, okay. So that is, oh, man. I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name. Not an autograph we pull very often. I believe debut of this signer was 2020 Masterwork. And I don't think, honestly, I've seen since. So that is Lynn Robertson Bruce for Dio. I believe one of the puppeteers. I love Dio. I love Dio. Dio, Dio's, Dio's a great new droid. I love BB-8. I love me some BB-8. But I, I think I like Dio better. Because Dio's just more skittish and stressed out. And it's like, it's a robot, Allie. How can it be stressed out? It's like, if you watch this robot's mannerisms, dude. This is, this is an anxiety robot. I love Dio. So Lynn Robertson Bruce here. Like I said, I believe puppeteer for Dio. Not a signer, like I said, that we've seen very often. I think the only time that I've pulled deal autographs are out of 2020 Masterwork. Yeah, I believe it was 2020. I don't think it was 2021. So I wonder if perhaps they haven't signed for a while or, or what. But yeah, not a super common autograph. But that does do it here for this box for Leland. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we found. We had the one 40th anniversary insert, C-3PO. Several of these journeys of Grogu's, 
Uh, eight total. I believe it's a 20 card set. So eight doesn't even get you halfway. So very large, which I'm happy about. That means we get to see a lot of pictures of Grogu every single box. Three manga madness inserts. And I believe four monikers. We also had two numbered parallels. So as I stated at the beginning, most boxes yield one, but we've had boxes yield up to three. Uh, so a little bonus here. Usually if you get two, it's like a base and then an insert. But this time we just had an extra base. Just two numbered base parallels. The Aqua Chewbacca, which I feel like I could portmanteau that, but I don't know into what. Aqua, Aqua, Baca? I don't know. Chewbacca. There we go. Chewbacca. <laughs> 43 of 199. And then the blue Fennec Shans. 38 of 150. And of course, once again, that autograph, Lynn Robertson Bruce as Dio. But with that, does wrap off this box here for Leland. So thank you so much for letting me open up some Star Wars Chrome for you here on the channel. Really hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. I'll be out there watching. I hope you had fun tuning in for some Star Wars Chrome here on this Monday night. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit the like button. Comments for me, leave those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. A little bit of an update coming up this week. We have new Yu-Gi-Oh! products. Uh, I believe Donruss Racing and AHL Hockey. So I imagine we'll be opening up the AHL on Wednesday. And then gets our weekly website updates with the U new Yu-Gi-Oh! product as well as the Donruss Racing uh, tomorrow evening. But yeah, so I'm not sure if it's going to end up being super busy. I know that, of course, Thursday night into Friday, midnight release party for the new Lord of the Rings Magic Gathering set will be opening up collector boosters. Other than that, not quite sure what else is going to be going on Friday, like during our normal times, not, you know, midnight. So... I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. But yes, we have confirmation AHL Hockey has shipped out. I know rumor had it Opichi Platinum was coming out. That did not ship today. That doesn't mean it's not coming out. It just means that we won't be getting it Wednesday. But AHL, Donruss Racing, and new Yu-Gi-Oh set. Brothers of Legends something. I don't remember. I'll have to double check. But yeah, so a little bit of an update here at the end of the video. I believe I already told you guys to like and subscribe and all that cringe. So the last thing for me to do here in this video is to wrap things off by giving an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much you all for your above and beyond supports. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have four Black Label fans, Andon, Mako, MT, and Sean F. And we also do have six Gemmint fans, Bamboo, Jerry Geek, Michael C, Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, and Woots0005. But thank you so much again though to all of our channel members. And all members do have their name shown on screen at the end of every video. But with that, that will do it for me here in this one. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and hope you all join me in the next video. Bye.